Hello and welcome to Infinity. Let's have a look at sharpening. So to do this, we're going to zoom in close to some edges here. So we've got some nice sort of straight edges here. We can see we can sharpen these a bit. If you go in very close, you can start to see the pixel. Look at those there. And it, what you can see is like, where does this bit end and the other bit begin? It's a bit fuzzy, isn't it? Because it's not quite in focus. So sharpening makes, it can't actually bring a thing into focus, can it? But it can make it appear to be in focus. So the way we do this is with filters and sharpen. And you've got three things here. We can use the unsharp mask, which is a very, very strange thing. Let's bring all these down to the beginning to start off with. The, the word unsharp comes from the days when photography was done in with chemicals and stuff like that. And uh, it was done by blurring and then recombining, which is strangely part of the techniques of how it's actually done technically. But we don't need to worry about that. So first of all, let's have a look at what happens if we turn these. You've got three controls here. The top two are the important ones. So if I turn this one up, nothing happens because you need this one as well. But if I turn this one up, Look what happens there. It goes rather funny. You can see it sort of looks. If you go, go out from that, it, is, it looks a bit sharper. But what we're getting here is, look at the things up here. This is, um, look at the lines around the outside of that. That's really gone quite strange, hasn't it? Um, this is called halos here. And you get Most of you get white halos, but like this, you can get dark halos as well. Because what happens in sharpening is it works by basically kind of finding an edge and then making the dark side darker and the light side lighter. So you get a greater contrast across the edge and that's how it begins to look like proper sharpening. So I'm going to control Z to undo that, control zero to zoom out again. And then just go back into this area where we were there because we're going to look at how this works. So let's go back on then to filters, sharpen and unsharp mask. I'm going to bring these down and I'll show you the technique that works quite well in most circumstances. And that is you start off the radius and you put that about one. OK, before that, you've got fractions of a pixel, which is strange. What's that? But don't worry, it's just a number. Start off with that with one. And then you bring up the factor until it's starting to look sharper. But what we're getting here, if we go into this bit, you notice this is getting all bitty as we, as we go up. And we can stop that bittiness with the threshold. And typically with a threshold, you move it a tiny, tiny, tiny amount. Because that, if you turn it right up, it basically there's no sharpening happen. It sort of stops it. It says, when do you start sharpening? And you literally go up. It's going to be like one or two pixels, you know, yeah, one or two percent, three percent. Yeah, that kind of thing. But then you can turn this up more and that sort of like bittiness mostly disappears, except more around the edges here. You can then play with the radius again to see how it goes and play with this again and try to balance these two a bit. You move one and then the other. And then zoom out to have a look at it from a big one. I'm holding on the control key and rolling the mouse wheel to zoom out a bit. And then see how that is there. And that's a bit better than it was before. So we haven't actually improved the focus. We actually made it sharper by working here along the edges. When we're happy then with that, we just hit apply. And there we've got control zero to get out again, a sharper picture. That's it for now. And thank you very much for watching.